In this demonstration, I will show you how you can install Active Directory Domain Controller on your Windows Server 2019. First, log in into your Windows Server with your administrator local account. Once you are logged in, open Server Manager and go to Local Server. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure all the pre-installation requirements are set so that you don't have to worry about changing them after the Active Directory domain control has been set up. For the computer name, I decided to go with SSServe as Sanuja Senanayaka Server. But if you want to change that, you can click on it. And then under change, you can change the computer name. If you decided to change the computer name, once you click OK, you had to reboot your server. So keep that in mind. But however, I would recommend that you change in this computer name to something meaningful so that in the future, your domain server have a proper name and it is easy to recognize on the network. Once the computer name is changed, I also check my network cards and I decided to add two network cards because a server should have at least two network cards, one for the internet and one for internal networks. However, you may add additional network cards as needed. In my configuration, I have a network card in an internal network called LAN segment because it is installed on a VMware machine. And I called, uh, and I said that to a static address. I'm gonna make this screen bigger so that it is easy for you to see. And on here, uh, we're gonna inspect these two network cards and I will show you the configuration. So one of the network cards has a static IP address. So if you click on it, the LAN segment one under properties, under IPv4, I have set it to a static address at 192.168.1.3. It is an arbitrary address. I just put it in that seg uh, LAN segment and then put it into this particular subnet with 255.255.255.0. And I'm gonna leave the default gateway as blank for now, and we can edit that later. And I've set the DNS to the Google DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 the other one is just going to the internet. So that network card, I have set it up. So it is receiving a DSCP IP from the outside. So that will set up our network cards for our ADDS domain. Next, I make sure that all my firewalls are turned off. Because we are in a lab environment, it is much easier to troubleshoot problems with Windows firewall turn off than turn on. But in a real production environment, you should not turn off these firewalls. So in here, I just went to the firewalls and I turned all of them off uh, because I just want to make sure everything works. And even in production environment, you can turn everything off first and then turn back on once you decided to go live. After doing all of that, the next thing we're gonna do is check for Windows updates. So I have already ran the updates available for this particular server but you can run a couple of times just to make sure you did not miss any updates because some of these updates have .NET Framework updates which required to install ADDS. If you get an error message during Active Directory Domain Controller installation saying your .NET Framework is out of date or something missing, you probably had to come back here and run those updates and go back to installation. Assuming you have run all the updates and everything is up to date, let's go ahead and install Active Directory Domain Controller. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the top menu here saying Manage and click on Add Roles and Features. 
it'll give you some information about the roles and feature wizard from Microsoft and you can read it over and see uh, you know you can gain more knowledge about how it works for now we're just going to go to the next page and you have two options for installation one called role based or feature based installation the other one called the remote desktop services installation for active directory domain control install we're going to look at we will put it under role based or feature based installation and most of the time most of your installation will be under this category after selecting that click next and select the server so the server is the same as this one and as you can see it has all the information uh, about the network cards as well with the 192.168.1.3 which is a static ip and the dscp ip from outside and then click next and on here select the one called the active directory domain services and then when you click that one it'll give you a message with a pop-up saying additional features need to be installed in order to uh, install active directory make sure you select include management tools if applicable and add features and press add features do not select the active directory federation services or active directory lightweight directory services or any of the other ones because that's not what we are interested in click next click next and next i would also put restart the destination server automatically if required this way you don't have to take any actions the installation process will go smoothly it'll give you a warning uh, pop-up and click yes and press install after the installation is done you will have this link called promote this server to a domain controller if you click on it it will give you a, a wizard for uh, it will give you a wizard for installing the active directory domain configuration now in in accident if you just press close it's still available up here by clicking here you can see that promote this server to a domain controller option is available at the top menu you can click on that and that will give you the same configuration wizard as the previous one and in here you have a couple of options add a domain controller to an existing domain add a domain to an existing forest add a new forest because this is our very first server and this is the first time we are installing a domain controller like adds we're going to select the option called add a new forest i'm going to call my root domain name as sanuja.local usually this is your company name such as juglams.com or uh, freebeds.com or whatever you know or your country name like you know canada.ca or something like that whatever your company name or your domain name but for our testing purposes in this laboratory lab, lab environment i will go with sanuja.local so this is going to be this is going to be my domain name for my server so i'm going to go next Once the checks are done, you will end up in this screen and you will have a couple of options under forest functional level and domain functional level. You might think, you know, why would you want to change these things? 
So if you don't know why you need to go backwards on an older version of the Windows Server, just leave it as at the highest level. In this case, Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2016. And make sure you have the domain name system or DNS server checked off. And for password, uh, you're just gonna pick one, whatever the one that you can remember. So I'm gonna enter a password for this domain server now. And click next. It will give you the option for DNS uh, with a warning. Uh, just I would just leave it as it is and go next. And it will configure the additional options. I would typically leave the NetBIOS name as it is. It is based on your domain name. In this case, it's going to be Sanuja. And I'm going to click next. Finally, we are at the database uh, page, database paths. I would leave them at default. It is easy to troubleshoot. It is easy to find information this way. And then click next. And finally, it will give you the options that you selected and all the information that you have entered. And you can click next to install the Active Directory domain controller. This will take a little bit of time. After the prerequisite check, it will start installing. And after the installation, it you will have to reboot the server in order to log in as a domain controller. Once the prerequisite checks are done, you will end up in this screen with the green check mark. And next, you're going to click Install. After a little while, you'll get this message saying you're about to be signed out. That because of this server is about to get the Active Directory domain controller and then it'll get rebooted. Once the reboot is done, it should be in domain controller. After the installation is done, you'll be greeted with the familiar lock screen. Now this server has been promoted to a domain controller. We will see if the configuration is uh, properly done. You're gonna log in with the domain controller password. In this case, the domain administrator is automatically created by the ADDS during installation. And the password you use during the installation is the one that you need to use in order to log into this server. So now, if you go into the server manager, you can see that the Active Directory domain controller has been installed and its dependency components such as the DNS and the file and storage services has also been installed. And if you go to your local server, and you can see the domain is showing up as sanuja.local. And if you click on it, you can see it is domain join and it is prom it has been promoted to a domain controller. Under the tools menu, 
you will see the Active Directory domain control options, such as the Active Directory users and computers, Active Directory sites and services. And uh, that's it, pretty much. And uh, your server is now domain promoted, and you have a working domain on Windows Server 2019. Thank you.